Hey guys, uh, this video here I'm going to show you guys how to set up a uh, pretty sweet little test network. I'm going to be using this network to start a new series of videos that are going to consist of working with the computer and doing some networking. I want to take this time now to show you guys just how to set this up because it's good to know you're, you're going to want to have this separate from your your main network that you're using whether it's at home or at work or whatnot um so i'm going to show you guys how to do it with uh vmware uh vmware workstation 8 i'll show you how to set it up too in virtual box but i'm not going to be going through the tutorials with virtual box but virtual box is free uh vmware is about you know 150 bucks so if you want to pick it up it's pretty great uh in the ultimate end uh, this is what we're going to be doing. Uh, this is Packet Tracer. We're going to be actually zooming into these computers here and here. You know, mostly this server up here. Uh, we're going to be setting it up with uh, Active Directory and DNS. But in videos later, I'm also going to be showing you guys how to set up a network. So for a company, for instance, uh, you know, we for a company called Centronics. Uh, they need um, some some subnets here for management, uh, for the supervisors down here, for um, you know their employees and their servers and the printers. And here's the uh, internet connection that they purchased. You know, here's the ISP router, whether it's Rogers or Bell for Canada or like Sprint or AT&T for the states. This is your service provider, and this is the router that you have at your work or at your home or whatnot. And from here on into the left here is what we're going to be configuring. Okay, but that's that's later on. I just wanted to show you guys, you know, just kind of grab your interest here. So first things first, to set up uh, VMware Workstation 8 to set up these testing. You're going to have to create a network inside of your network. All right. So if you're at the, the Home tab here, if not, you can go to Tabs and just click on Go to Home tab. It'll bring you here. You can go to the Virtual Network Editor. So you just click on this. Uh, you know, accept everything. It's going to open up the network. So it's going to give you these first three here, uh, VM, Net, Zero. So if you're on this network, you can, you know, Bridged is, it's on your, your main network. You know, you might be using this as a virtual machine, but if you were to, to stand somewhere else with like a laptop and scan the devices on your network, you're going to pick up this virtual machine too. That's what Bridged means. Uh, NAT is pretty much it's like behind your your network your your network card so it's only gonna show as your main network if somebody scans it but your uh, virtual hosts what we're setting up here can go through your network card to gain access to the internet and everything and uh, we're not going to be using that one either uh, we're going to be using host only. So what that is, is that's just like your hosts. Your hosts in this sense here, in, in the VM network, the host is your virtual machines here, as you got, as you can see here on the left. Like These are all the hosts to my computer. Okay, so what you're going to want to do is, first off, you're only going to have these three. So you just want to go down here and go to add network. And... I picked 9 because 9 happens to be my favorite number so I just picked it okay so you can select it and hit OK and then you're gonna want to uh, click on it to highlight it and this is here where you can uh, make the changes so you can bridge it so it's you know directly to the external network which is your home network or your business network uh, not like I was saying it shares your IP address or host only so connect VMs internally in a private network and you want to set up uh, the the IP address range here we're well, not the IP address range but just like the network pretty much um, if you have this checked off and you have your network built out here and your subnet mask it's gonna randomly give you a 
IP address in this network but we're not gonna have that checked off because in the real world you're not gonna have your router here um, issuing IP addresses for your network you're gonna wanna have your server here in which that's uh, DHCP that's what that's what will take care of your IP address and so here I'm gonna say use local DHCP service uh, no so make sure that's checked off and just hit OK and that's gonna save everything and that that's your network okay so that's all you did is you that's all you've done in VMware is you just set up a network so that when you connect your computers here uh, they're gonna use that network so for instance I'm gonna select uh, my server here this is gonna be this server here is going to be this guy right up here okay so I'm gonna select him and I'm going to uh, come over here and go to edit my virtual machine settings and you can go down to your uh, network uh, right, right here and you want to make sure this is all unchecked and you want to go to a specific virtual network and make sure it's set to the VM net whichever one you chose for instance like I chose 9 so if you're following along you would choose 9 too and just hit OK and same with like VirtualBox it's pretty similar but you just don't get to actually make a network you just get to set up your uh, system set up here and you're ready to go just go into settings and go to network and just make sure you're on host only adapter and then just hit OK and then once you're in there you can uh, go in there and physically configure the IP addressing I'll show you guys how to do that too but when in VMware but it'll be the same concept for VirtualBox sorry about that that's my phone alright so where were we okay so I'm just gonna power this on real quick and I'm gonna show you what it looks like with no DHCP server well we haven't done anything I have videos on how to uh, install server if not I can make one just remind me alright so now that I'm uh, loaded up here I'm just gonna log in yeah skip that for now so I just wanna I'm just curious to see what my IP address here is so I'm gonna do an IP config hit enter and that's good we have nothing because we didn't set up uh, host uh, DHCP to, to give us our IP address so we're just gonna set up an IP address right now so this will be the same way if you're using VirtualBox so you just want to go to uh, your control panel it might be a little different depending on um, what uh, version of Windows you're using and I just want to show you guys something too oops sorry just because uh, the network just kind of kicked in as you can see I have a 169.254 that's just a generic uh, well sorry that's just the default network for IP addresses if you don't have uh, DHCP enabled and you didn't get any IP addresses from anywhere that's that's what you'll get so if you ever see that uh, that's a good troubleshooting tip uh, that you know that your DHCP server is not working or a DHCP server is not working okay so uh, yeah back to uh, setting up the IP address statically static just means we're setting it it's like hard-coded it's not getting it from anybody so you want to go to control panel in XP and stuff it's probably just like my computer or uh, you just click on control panel sorry and then you want to go to uh, network connections so in in the other versions you'll just click on this and then you'll see this but in server it just kinda gives me the option to to slide on over so you can see this here uh, this is what you'll get if you double click on the icon you want to go to your properties and then you'll see here your uh, TCP IP settings that's like your major suite of pro protocols for the internet so if you're not too familiar with that we'll get into that later on so just want to hit uh, properties 
and see here it has obtained an IP address automatically but we have that turned off so that's why you got that 169 address because it, it can't obtain an IP address from anything so you're going to want to use the following IP addresses so in our case it's going to be uh, IP address of 10.1.1. I'm going to give this guy an IP address of dot 20 for now. And it wants to default to 255.0.0.0 because uh, the 10 dot private IP address is actually an a, a class A. I just like using it. So giving it the 255, 255, 255 makes it a class C network and default gateway is 10.1.1.1 let's say um, this server will be DNS so you can keep that as 10.20 and you can set up like a Google def uh, um, the Google pr uh, public DNS server for alternate if you wish just hit OK and hit close. Just keep in mind too that uh, we haven't done the subnetting for our network so that address might change but we will do that before we get into anything. We're gonna, we're gonna set up the, the network a little more just to uh, get our IP address scheme going. So now if I issue a command IP config you can see now that my IP address is 10.1.1.20 and default gateway is 21111. If you want, you, you go through and you do that to the rest of your uh, your computers here. Um, I just want to show you guys too how I have mine set up. Um, I have my folder here for uh, my computer under my documents. I got my uh, VMware operating systems here, okay? And I also have a copy of these, a fresh copy of Windows XP, uh, Windows Server, you know, I got my Ubuntu on here. I have that stored on a hard drive. And all I do is I make a folder called uh, VMware Operating Systems, let's say. And I just copied in, like I just made a copy from my hard drive and I copied them here. And I only had one Windows XP and all I did was I opened that up and I copied everything in here and I just made another folder called Windows XP user Chris and then I just pasted everything in there and I just did that for as many you know systems as I wanted to uh, to network let's say or fool around with so you only have to pretty much install it once uh, make a backup copy of this folder here that gets generated from your VMware you know then you can always if you come across you get some virus or you're just overwhelmed and you don't know where you want to go and you want to just restart you can just simply come to this folder delete it and then recopy a new uh, a new folder over so that's all that is like and then when you want to join them to the domain which we're going to be doing later on you can uh, you're going to have to rename your your systems so that they're not all named the same and they get uh, duplicate name errors and all that stuff but we're gonna get into all that but uh, I just wanted to show you guys how to pretty much set up the network so now you're you're ready you have your little VMware network you get you're on your host only if you're using VirtualBox everything's set up because if you start putting DHCP on your home network or your business network and you're just testing it uh, and you make an address space people can connect to it like real people in your network can connect to that and they'll get an IP address from your server that has no authority and they're not gonna have no internet they're not gonna be able to do anything so that's why we make this little test network here so uh, stay tuned and uh, next we're probably gonna be setting up the uh, the subnetting scheme for our little company here that we got hired to build okay I know I kinda made a video of this before uh, then I uh, upgraded my computer a little bit and uh, I forgot to back up what I did previously so now I'm starting over starting fresh but it'll be a little more fun okay guys thanks see you later